The very beginning of the world of Mongong Stir, the Plains of Myth, many megabeasts were born. The fiercest of these was Astus, a giant bird of prey called a rock. The only one of his kind, many early peoples were deeply moved by the sight of him soaring through the skies on his 200 foot wingspan, but this view soon passed. In the year two after creation, Astus attacked a dwarven settlement. Although he killed many, some survived, and words spread throughout the mountains to watch the skies. For two centuries, he destroyed forts and settlements of every race and civilization, attacking ships, trade routes, and even the fortified cities of the humans. Even the goblins, protected on their distant continent, feared the rush of wind heralding his coming. None was safe. Some dwarves, in desperation to save themselves, began to worship the beast, though this was officially discouraged and was ignored by most dwarves. It is now the year 251. The dwarven king Tobu Wheelhonor of the Rim of Balwerks decided this fear had gone on long enough. The Rim of Balwerks had never gone to war, safe in their mountain fortresses and preferring trade to fighting, but dwarven memories burn deep, and the lost two cities and a hundred dwarves is not soon forgotten. After gathering his most trusted advisors, the king decided on a bold strategy. An outpost would be established, a place to house, feed, and train soldiers with minimal outside sport. This would be placed right next to the beak's lair, Rutobokban in the teeth of disappearing. Seven dwarves were carefully chosen, given supplies, and dispatched into the wilderness. A new chapter of dwarven history was about to be written. Either the dwarves would be acclaimed as heroes, or added to the long list of creatures claimed by Astus.